Hi guys, it's Jasmine from Study Quill. First of all, if you're watching this when it comes out, happy Halloween! Today I'm showing you how to organize your school supplies. First of all, you need a way to store your pens and pencils. It may seem obvious, but the best way to do this is in a pencil case. I use this Lihit lab bag. You can learn more about how it's organized in my What's in My Pencil Case video. A popular option is a Lihit lab Tefa case which has a lot of different compartments you can use to store things. The only downside is that it's quite bulky. You can also use the pouches in the front of your bag, but a pen case is more convenient because you don't have to dig through your bag every time you want to use something different. There are a lot of ways to store papers, and I'll be showing you four possible ways. I personally use an expanding file folder with one section for each class. It's compact and light, but a downside is that you can't really see the papers you just see a bit of the side when you're shuffling through. You can also use a binder or multiple binders. There are two ways to organize with them. You can use one big binder. This is a 1.5 inch binder with tabs to separate different classes. You can also use multiple smaller binders and separate each class further into notes, classwork, homework, and etc. I use this system for my biology binder because my teacher requires a binder. The good thing about binders is that it's easy to flip through them and look at your papers, and they can be really organized. However, they're really bulky, especially if you have a lot. You have to hole punch all of your papers, and those papers will often rip and fall off the rings. Also, you might get lazy and start shoving things in the pockets instead of putting them in the correct section. One more method is to use folders. It's similar to an expanding file, except that each section is separate and you can divide each class into two parts. For example, notes and work, homework and classwork. The downside is that you have to flip through the folders, like the expanding file, and they can rip after extended use. If you're going to take the folder route, I'd recommend plastic folders over paper ones because they last longer. If you have a class with loads of papers, folders might not be able to hold them all. I don't recommend having a notebook for every class because the weight adds up fast. My backpack is already heavy enough without so many extra pieces of paper. I usually take notes on binder paper and put them in the correct section of my file folder because I don't like to carry around so many extra sheets of paper. However, if you're taking a class with a lot of notes, a notebook may be helpful to keep them all in one place. I use a notebook for French, for example, because I take a lot of notes and they're all part of one cohesive unit. I think one subject notebooks are better than multiple subject notebooks because you can keep different subjects separated and you get more space for each subject. If you don't know if a teacher will be collecting your notes or work done in your notebook, definitely don't get a multiple subject notebook. If they ask you to turn in your work, you'll lose access to your notes for all of your subjects. Besides schoolwork, you'll need to store other papers like binder paper and graph paper. I have separate tabs in my expanding file for this but you can also have an extra tab in a binder or a separate folder. Your goal for your organization system should be to have no random things floating around in your bag. I don't mean floating, I mean crumpled in the very bottom, lost to the void and never to be seen again. Everything should have a place it's meant to go. I've shown a few different ways, but there are other methods. Pick one and see if it works for you. If the system has a certain flaw that you can't tolerate, choose a different one. No system is perfect especially if you're not very motivated to stay organized. Just stick with one that you don't hate. Organizational tips and tricks are nice, but ultimately the only way to stay organized is to keep things where they need to be. That depends on you, not cute DIYs or life hacks, although those can be helpful to keep you motivated. Thanks for watching! I post videos every Monday and you can check out my blog posts in the description. See you next week!